Welcome to this James the Bike Guy where today we're checking out a super lightweight hybrid bike that might be the best way to get road bike performance while riding in an upright position. That's right, in front of us is the Trek FX Sport 4. This is the first part spec in their carbon fiber hybrid lineup and we're going to go into the features and designs of this bike, talk what it's all about, and then of course we'll find out exactly what it weighs. So if this kind of thing is interesting to you, I suggest you stick around and let's check out this bike together. So to begin diving into this bike, we should talk a bit about what the FX is and where this one slots in specifically in their lineup. So the Trek FX is Trek's fitness style hybrid commuter. So this bike could be used for commuting rides, it could be used for fast paced fitness rides, or even just some biking with your kid or out on vacation. And in the Trek lineup, the FX one through four come with an aluminum frame and nice componentry with the higher the number indicating the better the part spec. And then they have their sport series, which starts at the sport four, which is the bike in front of us here and ends with the sport six, which is an absolute top end full out baller hybrid bike. And what changes on those bikes is they go to this carbon fiber frame. So this is a 400 series carbon fiber frame, which has some really cool features we'll talk about. But basically it combines some of the tech that you would get with a high end road bike on a hybrid with that flat handlebar, making a nice and comfortable position. And to put this bike into perspective, Trek on the more off-road versions of their hybrids, they have something called a dual sport. And then on the more comfortable side of things, they have their Verve, which is a much more upright option. And this FX is really designed around combining that performance of a road bike with the comfort of a more upright position and the capability of doing more than just paved roads by having a little bit thicker tire and a little more compliance in the frame to keep you comfortable. The FX Sport frame set is made out of their 400 series OCLV carbon fiber. So that means the whole frame as well as the fork on the front end are gonna be made out of carbon fiber. So you run this nice bladed fork down to through axle in the front, which makes it really easy to take your wheel on and off and not mess with the brakes. And then you're gonna have a spot for a water bottle cage on your down tube as well as your seat tube of this bike running a threadless headset. And then in back, you'll see also another through axle making it easy to take the rear wheel off internal cable routing throughout the bike a really cool feature with this duo trap mount which gives you a spot to put a speed and cadence sensor directly into the bike of course you've got fender mounts in both the back and the front and then you come to the really cool party trick about these fx sport bikes so you see this bolt that's going through there what that is is called an iso speed and basically it divorces the seat tube from your seat stay and top tube junction. And that allows the seat to be able to flex backwards while you're riding, being able to absorb some of the bumps and things like that that comes up. And it really makes a difference in taking out some of the sharp shutters when you're on a trail or on some gravel. And speaking of which, this bike is gonna be able to fit a 35 millimeter tire without fenders or a 32 millimeter with fenders, which means that this is gonna give plenty of capability for having a slightly more treaded tire if you find your rides going on gravel more often than not. Rolling into the cockpit of this bike, we've got a nice wide alloy handlebar. So this is a Bontrager satellite handlebar. It's a 660 millimeter width handlebar, which is plenty wide. You can cut it down if you need to. But a nice thing is, is it's a 31.8 bar clamp, which is a modern clamp should you want to be able to adjust it out for another design. And you'll see it's got a small rise to it where the bar bends up. And then as you go out to where the shift and brake levers are, you're going to notice these Bontrager isozone grips. And basically underneath this rubberized grip, you can see that little white line that's across there. Well, the inside of the bar is shaped a bit like a V so that this gel pad can go underneath. And then you've got an ergonomic space for your hand to kind of place right on and fill in. And so that should give a nice comfortable position with everything connecting to this Bontrager blender stem. The blender stem allows mounting of your GPS, your computer, lights, whatever, right into uh, the front notch. And then going to the back of the bike is going to be a Bontrager satellite saddle mounted up on an alloy 27.2 seat post. And moving down from the cockpit, we've got our 1x11 drivetrain. So this is a really neat addition on this FX Sport. So here we've got a single ring up front, which allows all your shifting to just be done in the rear 
but in the back it's set up with a super wide range cassette and this wide range cassette is going to be an 11 to 42 tooth range which means we've got a huge amount of range in back so you only need the one ring up front to get all your gears in one place and then the derailleur is a shimano grx derailleur and this rig operates using a clutch mechanism so with the clutch turned off the chain kind of bounces around it can hit your chain stay and we've all been there with a chain that rattles as we go down the road but you click that clutch on and you'll see it tightens up on the cage of the derailleur so that when you're bouncing around the chain itself is going to stay super nice and quiet and moving forward to this alloy grx crank set it's going to be mounted up with a 40 tooth chain ring with chain retention and then you've also got this little chain guide to make sure that the chain's not going to fall off even without a derailleur on the front shifting the gears comes from a shimano rs 700 shifter this is an 11 speed shifter so this button is going to press to go to an easier gear and then thumb button forward is going to press to a harder gear or also which is pretty neat is it's dual release so you can actually press from the front as well so thumb up thumb down or thumb down and then thumb up as well pretty neat to see and then it's slowing via some shimano hydraulic disc brakes these are a two piston caliper on the front and the rear and a real reliable brake system and by being hydraulic it means that you're not going to have to do frequent adjustments or anything like that so it's one of those set it and forget it kind of like your car where you're not really needing to do any maintenance on it until the brake pads wear out and it's time for replacement last thing to talk about before we move on to the weight is going to be the wheel and tire setup so here we've got the bontrager r1 tires and a 700 by 32 millimeter and so this tire size is going to be pretty slender and fast rolling although you can bump it up to that 35 without a fender and you'll notice that on the tire it's going to have small tread on the side for when you're cornering but real smooth through the center to ride like a road bike and then the wheel set that comes with the bike is the Bontrager TLR rims. These TLR rims are tubeless ready. And while the tires themselves are not, that's something you could upgrade into in the future if you wanted to have some more flat resistance and ditch the tubes to save a little weight as well. The actual weight of the Trek FX Sport 4 comes in and weighs 21.24 pounds with pedals installed. Thanks for watching this video on the Trek FX Sport 4. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. While you're at it, be sure to hit that subscribe button and browse the channel to see more videos like this to check out as well.